Hello everybody, uh, this is vlog number three. Hope you're all enjoying them. I hope they're informative and um, entertaining at the same time in equal measure. Um, today we are doing a show in Oslo and um, it's an awesome city. It's really, really beautiful. It was um, offset today by the most magnificent weather. There was not a cloud in the sky and really, really bright sunshine. Um, and yeah, I, I had an excellent day today. We started the day off um, going to this monument park, the Gustav Vigeland Park, I think that's what, what his name is. And he's um, this famous sculptor. And he basically um, designed this park and um, it, it's chock full of all of these uh, sculptures that he, that he made. Um, sorry, that's my phone beeping. Um, and they're, they're really, they, the, the sculptures kind of um, vary from being very touching and beautiful to, to quite dark and lots of, um, lots of men and women and babies and um, so he, he's got a whole bridge loaded with uh, these, these statues, the most famous one being this little boy, this little angry child, um, which apparently has been stolen many times and, um, and uh, but has been restored to its place on the bridge. Um, and we had an interview there for a radio station, um, and it was great. It was a really good idea to have an interview outside, and uh, we got to see this monolith, which is um, which was extraordinary actually. There were about well, I, I looked up on the internet, and it said that there are 121 figures in this monolith, in this carved monolith, and basically the, the bodies were sort of winding around this monolith, like sort of men and women, and all sort of contorted and lots of little babies near the top and um, it's supposed to represent sort of man sort of clutching at life or kind of everybody groping their way to heaven in a way it was um it was a it was an awesome place to have an interview so uh, we had the interview and then Rachel and I played black socks in the wash um, and then we went on to another radio studio and did another interview which was uh, which was fun. We played Black Socks and we also played Candle in a Chat Room. So I think that's going to be on the radio, uh, the local radio, the national radio, rather, tonight. Um, yeah, and then uh, Rachel and, and um, our tour manager Simon and I went and had um, a very, very traditional Norwegian lunch, which um, I, I'm just, I'm still full. I couldn't eat dinner, but it was, it was amazing. We had these kind of traditional meatballs and potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Um, so, you know, that was great, and uh, that's, a, that's about all we, we, we got to fit in really today, and then we made our way to the theatre. Um, it's now 8 o'clock, we're going on at 8.30, so there's a, there's a half hour to go before we go on. Um, we're all excited tonight, actually, because we're adding an extra song in called Mr. London Town, which I'm not quite sure if any of you have heard before. You'll certainly hear it when the album comes out, but um, yeah, we're going to add that in and see, see how it goes down. Um, but yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it, we're all looking forward to it. We've just been upstairs and, and um, everyone had some dinner. And um, now we're all just getting uh, doled up and ready to go, really. Um, I'm going to take you out there and see if there's anything interesting I can show you. I have to head off actually quickly after the show. Oh, there's Rachel. Um, because we have to be up. We've got a we've got a taxi picking us up at five twenty tomorrow morning to take us to do this uh, television program, and uh, I'm a bit concerned about it because I'm really not a morning person. Uh, but I'm going to have to be a morning person tomorrow. Find a personality from somewhere. Um, what else can I talk to you about? <laughs> Rachel and I are just having a little schluck of brandy for our for our vocal cords. There you go. Um, just gonna take you out and give you a little tour and see if there's anyone else for you to talk to. I wonder if I could show you the side of the stage. Actually, let me see if I can take you. We're kind of under underground in this venue. It's a little bit claustrophobic. There's lots of tunnels and everyone keeps getting very, very lost. Um, I'm I've got to walk up lots and lots of stairs in these very high heels. I'll just show you them. They're my signature high-heeled runners. 
they're not the easiest things to get around town in. Just a second. I'm going to go through here. Just going through here, side stage. See? Unfortunately, it's very dark, so you can't see much, but this is a stage. And there's people starting to come in. I'm sorry, I, 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 I think you got a bit motion sick there because I was shifting the computer around a bit too fast. Just going back through where we came from. <laughs> back up the stairs. Oop. We've actually got a standing up audience tonight, um, down on the floor anyway, so that's good because we don't always have that, it's quite rare. So the aim of tonight's gig will be to get everybody dancing and um, excited. Hello Oslo. Hello Oslo. Hello Oslo. I found another stage. member of the band. Oh no, 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 I'm practicing. I'm practicing. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm, hello Oslo. Welcome please. Welcome to, see, I can't say it. I'm practicing. Hello Oslo. Welcome to the stage. Andrew McKinnon. There you go. Thank you. Right. What are you wearing today? La... Well, I'm wearing a spotty t-shirt that says La Femme. La Femme. And um, I've already shown them my red runners. Have you shown them your sparkly sparklies? I've got a sparkly bracelet on. Fantastic. So, and this is, this is Andrea, 25 minutes before the gig. I just want you all to know that. This um, is her... Oh, well, we can't see you. Oh, no, no, it's all right. It's actually right. It's okay. We're going to go now. Oh, I've got to go to the loo. Excuse me. I'm a bit camera shy. I'm a little bit and camera shy. As she normally does. Oh, shut up. Um, so that's really all I've got to say, really. Um, um, yeah. We can't really chat after the, after the show, I'm, I'm afraid. That's why we had to do it before the gig blog today, because... We have to go to bed very early. It's, it's all rock and roll here, I tell you. Um, but we hope the show go down, goes down well. We, we think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. The sound, actually, the sound check was the best we've had. So fingers crossed. Um, but I'll chat to you all again tomorrow. All right, bye. <laughs>